and welcome to my latest video. In today's video I'm going to teach you how to make a Dragon Ball online server. Uh, keep in mind that the latest versions of the game, uh, let's say 1.0 and so on, they are not available right now, they are not easily, you know, gettable. So, um, right now I'm going to teach you how to make a server for the 0 0.509 version of the game. Uh, keep in mind that these versions, uh, Dragon Ball Online, was main was was mainly launched in Asia, so um, expect to have a, a lot of um, of uh, of the text in Korean. So um, almost half of the game is gonna be uh, unreadable, uh, but there are some uh, words that are gonna be translated into English. So you know. It's kind of fun to, to play the game, but it, the quests, you know, the, the parts that you have to read the text are going to be almost unplayable. So that's a warning. So first, we're going to download the Dragon Ball Online RAR here, this file that will contain these two folders. This RAR, you will find it in my webpage. Just go to gravisoftnet.com. There you're going to have to register to the forum, wait for a confirmation mail, and enter the forum, search for the thread that says Dragon Ball Online, and download the file. As easy as that. So once you got that, just extract this crap, and you're going to have these two folders, the server files and the client, which is the game itself. So now, first, before doing all this crap, we're going to go and install SAMP. Samp, if you've seen the my latest video, my one of my latest videos about um, the Battlefield Free server creation tutorial, you will you will know that I already used this program in that video. So once again, we're gonna use this again. This program is called Samp. You're gonna you you want to install it. You're gonna go to the video description of this video, and you will be able to find the link to download this program. Open the control panel and start to execute every single service, especially the first two. In if in, by any chance your Apache is not able to execute, it's probably because your ports are being used by another program, or um, because you you didn't open uh, the the appropriate ports. So first, in order to be able to open the ports, you're gonna go to your router. IP configuration, in my case is this IP. Once you enter here, make sure to go to applications and gaming. Probably your router could be different, but they are almost all the same. They are very similar between each other. So we're going to go to application and games. Um, you know, um, and here you want to go to open as much ports as you can. So in this case, if you can see my example, I open from the port 10 to the port 60,000. So here you're gonna go to protocol both and you're gonna make sure to place your local IP here. Uh, if you don't know your local IP, just open a CMD. Once you open a CMD, type netstat as always, as usual. Um, well, and here you will see your local IP. My local IP in, in my case is the one you, you will be able to identify it because it's going to be like a lot of times repeated. So in my case it's 104, so we're gonna, I'm, I'm going to put 104 here. Just tick enable and then just save it. So once we open the ports, maybe you you could try and execute Apache again. If Apache that is, still doesn't work, it's because your ports are being used. So you'll have to change the ports. If, to change the port is very simple. Uh, you want to go to C unit, SAMP, Apache, and COM folder. Once here, you're going to open a notepad. I'm going to drag this httpd.conf. Here, you will have to scroll all the way down to listen. Here, you will have to replace the port that is going to be by default. In my case, I put 8080. And also, going to keep on scrolling until you see server name local host here you're also going to change this port once you change it just save it and close it and now you should be able to execute apache very well yo you want to close this program now it's going to be minimized so don't worry and now we're going to open a, um, an internet explorer or maybe google chrome or whatever thing you have firefox whatever so here you're going to type localhost in case you change the port uh, right uh, just 
seconds ago, you're gonna put the port that you that you just changed. So in my case, as you can notice, I changed the port, the default port to 8080. If you didn't change the port, then just type local po localhost slash php my admin slash. But if you change the port, just put localhost two points and the port that you just put and then slash php my admin and then enter. So now you should be greeted with this um, web page. Um, we're gonna know we we're gonna now proceed to create the Dragon Ball Online um, database. So now we're gonna go to new here. Once we're here, we're gonna type the DBO like so, and then we're gonna go to create. I'm just going to click in create and uh, you will see here on the side a uh, new database. It's going to be empty uh, so uh, in order to fill all this data we're going to go to the database and going to go to import. Here we're going to select the archive. We're going to go to several files folder that we just downloaded. Um, we're going to go to SQL folder and you're going to import every single file uh one at a time so first we're gonna go to character open and that and, and so on we're gonna go characters and then we're gonna go to import and we're gonna go to select character items and go continue i forgot about this continue once you you press in continue just do the same import select uh, character list continue and all that shit so once you have all this crap we're gonna go to user just gonna click there I'm gonna go insert because right now we got, we don't have any accounts. In order to make accounts for the local server, you will have to make them right here. We don't have a web page to register or anything at all. So the only way to add users is by uh, creating accounts here. So we're gonna go to user. I'm gonna go to insert. Once we are in insert, here you'll see the name. This is gonna be the name of the account. Is for you know. Just to make an example, I'm going to type magic, and in the password as well, it's going to be magic. So uh, once uh, you enter the information, just click in continue, and the new user is going to be created. Go to user once again, and you will see here name magic and password magic. This is a, f a single user that we just created. So that's very perfectly well. And so we are now able to close this crab, and we're almost done. Now we're going to go to server files here in the folder. We're going to go to server files folder and you will see all this crap. First, we're going to have to configure uh, every single executable here by opening the INE. So out, uh, authentication server INE, we're going to open it. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, just make sure to put 127.0.0.1 IP because that's the same by saying that it's a local IP. Just copy that crap and pass it all over here. Uh, anyway, it's, it's going to be edited this way. If you download my files, the, all this crap is going to be like this, so you don't have to change it. So, uh, once again, character server. But I'm going to teach you this because in, in case you want to just change the IP someday, you know how to do it. So, here as well here as well just change this IP to the local or the local master server and game server as well so once you done that um, we're almost done and now we're gonna execute the server just um, select all these executables and press enter all this crap is gonna execute this is the server It's gonna be waiting for a user to connect to the game and now we're gonna go to the client once we are here in the client you wanna um, open um, we're gonna open yeah config options XML with notepad we're, we're gonna open notepad and we're gonna just drag these files here and here you're gonna change as well the local IP you're gonna put this IP here and this IP here so once you're done you're done just close it and save it and we are ready to go one last step just make sure to execute client patch here um, just click in extract and we're good to go so now I'm gonna show you how the game plays uh, keep in mind that the game is gonna be like 70% 70 70 in Korean so it's gonna be almost unplayable but at least you will be able to experience uh, how the game works and all that shit 
So um, now we're that we're done. Just, you just want to execute the this DVO executable and enter the user and password that we just made with the PHP, you know, the Apache. So let's go. Hope you liked the tutorial. Uh, I hope it was clear. I hope it was clear enough to, for you guys to understand my things. Um, sorry if I'm not speaking perfect English, but I'm kind of tired. Bye. <laughs>